Welcome to another episode of Unleashing the Future of Work with Tim Salau. And on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about work-life alignment in the future of work. Work-life alignment. Not work-life balance, not work-life harmony, work-life alignment. And the funny thing is that the realest way to achieve work-life alignment really starts with this. You have to define your purpose. And people don't realize that in the future of work, creating work-life alignment is more than just separating your work, your life, and your career. No, 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 no. We're moving towards a future in which you have to integrate and align both. You have to be on your craft. So whatever compels you, whatever makes you passionate, you have to pursue that in your work, in your life, and create a career out of it. Right? So you have to define your purpose. And then you have to think about how do you start owning your purpose? How do you start owning your craft? The funny thing is, is that when I actually started my career, now I know for some of y'all watching this, y'all like, Tim, he talks about the future work, you know, he loves building community, you know, he's done product management, he's been a career coach. I've done so many different occupations, but what's what I've been really passionate about throughout my entire career is this love of community building. Bringing people together, right? So I find the opportunities, the roles, whether it's me evangelizing, it's me speaking, keynoting all around the world, what are the opportunities in which I can build community, right? That's my craft, that's my passion, and I own that, and I find the opportunities where I can pursue that. So once you define your purpose, you have to go into this mindset where you have to own, own your craft. Own your craft. And for everyone, that craft is different. Some people are passionate about music. So you're in the studio, you're going in, right? Some people are passionate about public speaking. So you create a keynote, right? Or you create workshops where you can help people with their careers, right? Or you can teach them the tips for effective communication. Whatever your craft is, own it. You have to own it. You have to define your purpose and then own your craft. When you're thinking about a future in which most jobs will be automated, everyone would have to think about their career from the perspective of a craft, right? You'll have to think about what is it that compels me, that makes me passionate, that drives me to do more, right? And actually, gives me fulfillment. There's not a lot of people in this day and age that have jobs like that, that actually drives them. So when you define your purpose and you say, well, I want to do this in the world. I am passionate about community building. I remember the first time I defined my purpose, I was in grad school. And essentially, I just spent the day literally in the library telling myself, what am I great at, what am I not great at, and what do I want to be known for? And I literally came down to a very clearly defined purpose statement, which is to strengthen the bonds that people share through compassionate and empathic action. And I pursued that ever since my time in grad school at the University of Texas in Austin. So when you think about the future of work, you have to define your purpose own your craft, whatever it is that compels you, that makes you passionate. And last but not least, you have to merge your personal interests with your professional interests. Merge your personal plus the professional. Right? So some of you right now are in dead-end jobs that you do not like. You are not passionate about it. You're maybe doing accounting, right? Maybe you're a data analyst and you're scraping, you're migrating data. But you want to eventually be in a position where you're unleashing your creativity in your role, right? You're maybe in a leadership position. But you don't feel as if you're in that, in that role right now. And the thing about it is the fact that what you're passionate outside of work, you can find the opportunities within the work you do to pursue the same work, but you have to be intentional about it. It really does start with defining your purpose, right? And then owning what it is that you love, and then finding the opportunities in the workplace 
to blend both. I have a friend of mine, he's a DJ, a world-renowned DJ, and he's also a product manager at one of the top tech companies in the world, Microsoft. I always talk to him, I'm asking him, dude, how do you find time to do both? Alignment. That's what he tells me. It's alignment. It's integrating what he's passionate about outside of work with what he's passionate about in his work. Today, he has people in the workplace that he works at reaching out to him for opportunities to DJ for a family event, a corporate event. He's integrated. He's created that work-life alignment. And when you do that, you start, you start looking at people different. People start looking at you different because they start seeing that, oh, wow, like he's not only good at his day job, but there's a passion that he's pursuing outside of his day job that, that really takes him to a different level or takes her to a different level. So when you really have that very clearly defined purpose statement, you start owning your craft, and then you merge your personal interests with your professional interests, you'll become a really unique creator. I don't like using the word worker because in the future of work, people are going to be creators. You really start being perceived differently by the people who work with you and they're more willing to maybe reach out to you for opportunities because they see that you're living your craft. It's a different mindset. So if you're watching this right now and you're trying to understand how in the world do I create that work-life alignment between my career, my personal, and my life, my professional, right? That's, this is how you do it. You define your purpose, you own your craft, and you merge the personal with the professional. Now, I hope y'all love that because I'm coming at y'all with more in the next episode. Peace.